we travel all over California. We see the unaffordable, you know, we hear about the unaffordable housing. I mean, it's going up everywhere. I, I feel it here too. Right. Uh, everybody pot, around pot people here is talking about getting rid of Costa Hawkins and, you know, having rent control. Right. And those are some answers. But, um, you know, one thing that I will say, I've been saying recently is, so California is the fifth now, apparently, the fifth largest economy in the world. Part of the credit for that goes to the fact that we had free public education after World War II. So we have all this intellectual capital, all these industries. We're still riding on that. We can do that for everybody now. If we go back to that, we can pump up our economy better and flatten out you know, the income inequality. But the other flip side of fifth largest economy in the world is that we have horrible income inequality. We have an out of control, and it's not just California, it's Oregon and Washington and sure. down even into Mexico, I'm hearing. And I'm actually now hearing as we talk about it, uh, talk to people, that it's, it's in Paris, it's, it's in a lot of different places. And so there's a couple ways to do this. I trust developers to only be for profit. It doesn't help a homeless person to have affordable housing built, right? That's because, like access to health care. Yeah. You, oh, yeah. <laughs> you only have to pay 100000 a year to buy this house. Great. Right, right. I saw uh, this fresh-faced grandma going down the street in Davis the other day. And, you know, actually, it wasn't the other day. It was like a few months ago. So it was really cold and rainy. She had a little cart like you would get to shop with uh, as a retired person, a grandma. And she had a little dog that was very clean. And I looked at her and I thought, you know, and I talk to homeless people sometimes to find out what's going on with them, too. I'll talk to people who own corporations. I'll talk to anybody. I can. I've, I've talked to everybody my whole life. Uh, every, you know, mountain folks, desert folks, beach people. Everybody. All right. Get to the story. I want this story. Right. And so, so uh, here she is going down the street. And I thought, you know what? She's not going to survive the winter. That's horrible. Yeah. How can, how can it be that people are being thrown out on the street essentially to die either they're going to get beat up by the cops or they're going to you know die of like uh environmental effects too cold too rainy they get sick they, they don't have can't go to the hospital whatever it is it's just i mean and the, it's just wrong it's morally bankrupt and horrible for that to be happening one solution i've been saying is we need california builds prisons right california builds bridges we can build public housing like we did after world war ii we can trust developers to be for profit. The state of California can do it without being for profit. Build the housing in a way that I, when I lived in Denmark for a month, I saw these nice mid-rise buildings with gardens, you know, community mm -hmm. gardens that each flat has access to a community garden. And oh, yeah. they have opt-in where they can buy the flats. The state built it, but they can buy it for a reduced cost or pay a reduced rent. Mix it up so you don't have only one kind of person there so they can kind of take care of each other. Where do you get the money for this? Where's California supposed to come up with the money for this, Josh? Uh, tax oil, you know, um, get rid of uh, and roll back Prop 13 on commercial buildings. There are smart ways that we can raise taxes. And I, <laughs> I have talked to people out there in the state and they are not they don't have a problem. Some do. A libertarians that I've talked to, though, you know, biker libertarians, high biker libertarian that I talked to in San Diego, <laughs> uh, you know, Mo almost everybody doesn't have a problem with taxes going up if they get something for their taxes right. that makes sense so that they don't see their relatives dying on the street so that they can go to the hospital and the government acts as the uh, accountant to make a giant insurance pool out of the entire population of the state, which would make it all flattened out so much better. And then you go to, this is what SB 562 proposes, that you can still go to your private doctor, your private dentist, your private eye doctor, mental health care provider. So the way to pay for it is you do smart taxes and then you make sure you apply it properly. You know, again, again, what I hear you saying is we just shift money from one place to another because, you know, it all goes somewhere at this point. Just need to take it. Well, it's it. all there. It's the all there. The money is being spent in the system. It's right. actually being spent in a sloppy way right now. Right, right. Absolutely. It's wonderful.